ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. California. I work here. I'm a cop. It was Tuesday, April 7th. It was cold in Los Angeles. We were working the day watch out of Accident Investigation Division Hit and Run Felony Unit. My partner's Frank Smith. The boss is Captain Calfee. My name's Friday. A young woman had been run down and seriously injured. The driver of the car had escaped into the city. We had to try to find him. about that thing last night, huh? That's right, Miss Well, look, I'm in an awful hurry. I gotta get going to work. All right, this is my partner, Frank Smith. My name's Friday. Hi! Oh, I'm sorry. Just sit over there. Thank you. Thanks, Frank. Uh, there's some coffee there on the table if you want some. No, no, thank you. Well, would you mind pouring me a cup? You'll find everything you need right there. Two sugars. Yes, ma'am. What do you want to know about last night? I told the officers who were there all I know. Yes, ma'am. We read their report. We'd like to go over with you if it's all right. Seems like a waste of time to me. You spend a little more of it out trying to catch the kid that hit that girl. It'd be better all the way around. Yes, ma'am. According to what you told the officers last night, you saw the accident. Is that right? I saw it, yeah. But I don't think it was an accident. Beg your pardon? I said I don't think it was an accident. Yes, ma'am. If you ask me, I think that kid deliberately hit the girl. Deliberately. Why do you say that? Just the way it looked, that's all. What kind of feeling? The way he came barreling around that corner. Well, you must have seen her. She was right under the light. Didn't even make an attempt to stop. None at all. Yes, ma'am. I saw the girl step off the curb right under the light. He had to see her. Yes, ma'am. Well, anyway, she stepped off the curb and started across the street. Harry and me saw her. She started across, and then all of a sudden, this kid in the hot rod was coming right at her. Wasn't anything she could do. Uh-huh. Well, she kind of looked up at the car like, well, she was going to run. But she didn't have time. The car hit her and knocked her down. Did you get a good look at the vehicle? You mean the one that hit her? Yes, that's right. You bet I did. Passed right under the light. Got a real good look at it. Why don't you describe it for us? Well, I told the cops all about it last night. Seems like that'd be enough. Why do I have to go through it again? Well, there might be something you didn't think of last night, Miss Hunter. Something you might have forgotten. Well, it isn't likely. But if you gotta have it, I guess that's the way it's gotta be. I hope we can get it over with fast, though. I gotta get down to the corner so I won't miss my bus. Well, if it would help any, we can drive you to work. Now, what kind of a car was it, Miss Hunter? A hot rod. You know the kind. Low, two exhaust pipes. Kind of beat up. What was the brand name, do you remember? Well, I guess it was a Ford. It looked like... It looked like one. I see. Hard to tell. It was kind of banged up, you know. I don't know why the police would lock cars like that in the streets anyway. It couldn't be very safe. Can you tell us what year the car was? Well, I'm not real good at that. Mm, but I'd say maybe 1940. Mm, it might have been 1941. Beg pardon? I think it was a 1940. Might have been a 41. It was a pre-war car, though. Yeah, I'm sure of that. Was there anything about the car that would make it easier for us to identify not especially. Black Ford all beat up. I sure know if I saw it again, any place. Did you get a good look at the driver of the car? No, not too good. All I could see was that he was a kid. You know, maybe 19, 20 years old. Mm-hmm. Sure like to see you get that kid. Is the girl all right? She looked pretty bad last night. Well, she's still in a critical condition. The doctors aren't sure yet whether she'll make it. Sure hope she does. Have you talked to her? No, not yet. Just a terrible thing. Kids like that running around in hot rods, barreling around the city. Person's not safe on the streets anymore. Well, just because a car's got twin tailpipes, Miss Hunter, doesn't have to be a hot rod. Well, this one was. Even had that little sort of mm, uh, license plate hanging down the back bumper. What was that, ma'am? Something wrong with your ears? No, ma'am. Just kind of hard to hear you. Well, I don't know why. I'm talking loud enough. I think you ought to have them checked. Yes, ma'am. What was that you said about the plate on the car? You mean a state license plate? No, one of those with the club name on it. You know the kind. Well, now, there wasn't a notation of that on the report that we remembered. Well, I guess I forgot. All the excitement and all. I must have forgot. I understand. Did you see the name on the plate? Yeah, not real good, but I saw it. I wonder if you can remember it. Not all of it. The last part was wheels. Um, something wheels. Two words. You're pretty sure of that, are you? Yeah. Wheels! That's the word I saw. Didn't remember it last night. I guess it didn't seem important then. Must be a lot of cars that have those plates on them all over town. Yes, we know. Gee, I'm never going to make it. 
Mm. Cold. Don't seem like it's going to help much. A lot of cars with those little plates. A lot of them. Yes, ma'am. And even if you do find a kid with one of them, how are you going to know he's the right one? Well, I won't be too tough. Huh? His car will tell us. struck a woman while she crossed the intersection of Olympic Boulevard and Connecticut Street the night before. When the ambulance arrived at the scene, the victim, who was identified as Mrs. Helen Chapman, was unconscious and was removed to Georgia Street Receiving Hospital for emergency treatment. At 1.14 p.m., we drove over to Georgia Street Receiving Hospital to talk to the superintendent, Dr. Hall. How is she? Condition so critical, she can't be moved to her own hospital. We're going to have to hold her here for a while. Can we talk to her? No, hasn't recovered consciousness to the point where you can question her yet. Yeah. We're administering serum albumin to counteract shy. How bad is she? Well, compound fractures of the femur, rib fractures and associated internal injuries, including a punctured lung, brain concussion. We don't expect her to live. That's too bad. I have to go in and check her. The victim's husband is in the waiting room. His name's Carl Chapman. Thanks, Doc. Smith, my name's Friday. Talk to the doctor? Yes, sir, we did. Is there anything new? Is she going to be all right? We don't know, sir. You better ask the doctor yourself. Why don't anybody tell me anything? All the time I ask how my wife is, they tell me to ask the doctor. Why won't they tell me? We wouldn't know, sir. I can't even find out if she needs anything. They won't let me see her. It's been over 10 hours. Nobody tell me what's going on. It won't be very long now. The doctor will let us know. It's easy to say. Wait till they let us know. It's not your wife who's in there. It isn't anyone you love. Why are you here anyway? Why aren't you out trying to get the rotten little punk that did it? We'll get to him. When? After Helen's dead, that going to be when you start looking? No, sir. We're looking for him now. We came over to see your wife. We thought maybe she might be able to give us some information. What do you want from her? The name and address of the kid that ran her down? Does she have to get out of bed and go find him for you? That's your job. Well, let's talk about the police department being so good, but what are you doing? Standing around here waiting for my wife to point the kid out for you. Would you excuse us a minute, Joe? Yeah, sure. We'll wait out in the hall, Doc. Sure a rough one, isn't it? Yeah. Why, what's going on in there? I don't know. We better call the office and get a broadcast out on that plate. Call the National Hot Rod Association. Maybe they can give us something on that club. Yeah. I'm looking to. How is she? She was seven months along, baby on the way. Yeah. Dead, both of them. Frank and I drove out to the offices of the National Hot Rod Association on Hollywood Boulevard. We met with Wally Parks. He checked their records for clubs with the last name Wheels. There were three in their files. Two were in the eastern part of the United States, and one was listed as having headquarters in Alhambra, California. We obtained the name and address of the president of the club, and we drove out to see him. We found him in the garage behind the house working on his car. We introduced ourselves. What do you want to see me about? I understand you're the president of the Square Wheels Club. Yeah, that's right. Why? How many members do you have in the club? Eighteen. Eighteen actives. A couple of guys in the service. What's this all about, anyway? How come the questions? All your members have the metal plates with the club name on their cars? Yeah, I'll get them when they pay the initiation fee. Why? Anybody else have them? Not legally. Well, how do you mean that? A couple of them are. Been stolen from members. Any of the fellows in the club drive a black pre-war Ford? Yeah, I guess we got about five of them. Can't you tell me what this is all about? All right. A woman was run down by a hot rod last night. One of the witnesses saw a plate on the car that might have been from your club. No, 
kidding. It's the way we got it. Well, what'd the car look like? Twin pipes, pretty well beat up, white sidewalls. It's not one of ours, then. You sound pretty sure. What about the plate? Like I told you, we had a couple of them stolen. How come you're so sure it wasn't one of your members? Well, I know the cars in the club. They're in a yo-yo in the bunch. Yo-yo? Yeah, you know, a junk heap. Oh, I see. I don't know. Seems like every time there's any trouble with a car over five years old, it's a hot rod. Take a look. I want to show you something. I've been working on it for three years. Got over 1,200 bucks in it. Take a look. A lot of motor. It's a new Merc engine. Multiple carburation. All the parts have been balanced. Motor's been bored out, stroked. Got eight and a half to one compression. Special camshaft. One and three quarter inch Olds valves. Converted ignition. Lincoln self-energizing brakes. Heavy duty shocks. And I've reworked the steering. That's a hot rod. Well, it's a good car, son, but what's it prove? Well, the car that ran the woman down wasn't one. How do you figure that? Well, you said it was a wreck, didn't you? That's right. We haven't got a wreck that's allowed on the streets in this club. We got a safety check every month. Any car that isn't safe has to be fixed or the guy's out. A lot of clubs operate that way. Yeah. I'll tell you. Kids build rods for two reasons. They want the cars to run better, be more efficient, or else they want something a little different than you can buy in a showroom. Well, all this sounds real fine, but a woman was killed last night by a kid driving a hopped-up car. Well, maybe it had twin pipes, a loud muffler, but I'll give the odds from here to Bonneville that it wasn't a hot rod. I know how you guys feel. We're always getting it. Every kid behind the wheel in a second-hand car is a potential killer. The way the paper's pictures, we just roam around looking for somebody to run over. You check the records. I think you'll find the ratio between tickets given out to members of hot rod clubs, ones that work under the NHRA, and any other group of drivers will make the hot rodders look pretty good. Hadn't been a ticket in our club for the last year and a half. One before that was for overtime parking. I'm sorry, fellas. That car last night wasn't one of our guys. You can bet he wasn't a hot rodder either. Well, now, have you got any way of knowing who could have gotten that plate? Not right off, but we'll find him. How? There's only so many streets in Los Angeles. We'll find him. Guys like that make things tough on the clean drivers in this town. We'll find him for you. All right, we'll appreciate any help you can give us. But this is police business. If you find him, you call us right away. Well, don't worry, we will. How do I get in touch with you? I'll leave you one of our cards. Anytime you call. Right. Well, I'll get on the phone and get the fellas rounded up. Now, if you turn anything, you call us right away. Don't try to take care of it yourselves. There's only one thing we're interested in. What's that? Proving to you it wasn't one of us. Showing you were on your side. Well, it shouldn't be too hard, should it? Huh? There's a lot of room. <laughs>